Why won't this video start? All right, finally. Welcome back to class. Here we are, it is fall. It's pretty nice outside. I'm on the back porch, it's probably 80 degrees. So um, feeling like feeling like it might be uh, time to get back in school. I'm excited to, to be teaching this class, supervised experience. Here it is. When, uh, when people sign up to be counselors, they, uh, they think really of this class when they're thinking about, hey, what am I gonna learn? So you finally made it. You finally made it through all of these theory classes and, and uh, counseling strategies uh, and techniques where you're kind of torn down a little bit in that, okay, you have to listen to people. You can't just go about and communicating the same way that you always have with people. So it's kind of like in our first class, in our in our strategies and techniques class, that we kind of tear you down a little bit, that we try to make you um, rethink how you're interacting with people. So it's more therapeutic. So it's it elicits more from them and less from you. It puts an emphasis on being okay with uncomfortable feelings. You don't want to shut down somebody as they start to cry or start to open up with you. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, don't say, oh, I'm so sorry, because that is going to shut someone down. They're not going to continue. Tell me more. Now, that might continue the conversation. That's odd. There's a dog hanging out that car. Anyway, so <laughs> it is Zoom. So, um, so welcome back to class. We're going to integrate what we did in strategies and techniques with supervised experience. So supervised experience, what is the primary goal for this class? The primary goal for this class is for you to actually learn techniques. Like these are many theoretically based techniques, many are evidence-based techniques. We'll talk a little bit about the difference between those two, but this is actually like tools that you put in a toolbox and take with you to work. So yes, I finally get to learn how to counsel. I've been taking all these classes and now, yes, here it is. Yes, here it is, it is here. So with, without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. Let's go over the syllabus. Um, so uh, get this Zoom thing out of here. So I'm excited for this. Uh, this is subject to change. Of course, we have COVID affecting us. I, the, the course is going to be modified. Probably the biggest thing to think about here uh, is we're primarily going to meet on on Blackboard. It's going to be asynchronous. This is primarily, eh, not primarily. Most weeks are going to are going to have an online Blackboard content though, and so you'll see that in in the syllabus where it's asynchronous, where you can log on, do it anytime you want to. Um, Within limits, of course, you know, our discussion posts are due Thursday night, and then also, you know, your follow-up discussion posts to your peers are due Sunday night. And uh, there may be some modifications to that as well, because you'll have some, some different assignments besides just discussion boards. So we'll only have like three discussions in this class. One of those is this week. Uh, we're also going to have three taped sessions, and you're going to reflect and transcribe what you did in those sessions and reflect on it. So, uh, so that'll be some cool stuff that will help you when you get into practicum. Um, and, and a couple of case conceptualization things that we'll do as exams. And the experiential component, the, the experiential part of this, where you were actually going to um, practice counseling again. So the recordings you'll practice counseling and during our Zoom time, because we're not gonna be able to meet face-to-face. -face. Normally this class meets face-to-face -face on three different campuses. We take turns, Alva, Woodward, Enid, um, and all get together. That's just not a good situation right now. We're gonna have to make a modification and do that via Zoom. So it cuts down on travel, cuts down on that inconvenience. The biggest inconvenience is making sure you find a private space that you can, and a good internet connection that you can actually participate in in counseling. Because 
most counselors when COVID hit went to online, went to Zoom. A lot of people still continue Zoom. Uh, a lot of the clients still don't feel safe, don't want to come back. Some people may always continue on Zoom because they feel more comfortable talking to somebody like this rather than going into an office setting where somebody might see their car or maybe they've got you know fear of being in open places. We don't know. Some people may continue this. Uh, so we live in a changed world, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get into the syllabus and uh, got some office hours posted there. Those are subject to change. Anticipate they'll probably stay the same, but uh, eh, uh, probably, those will probably be my office hours. The biggest thing here, before we go anywhere else, I listed two textbooks. We are gonna, especially this first week or two and throughout the course, we're gonna fall back on the Cormier Counseling Strategies and Interventions for Professional Helpers. That's the stuff that you covered in Strategies and Techniques. The better, bigger text. Actually, I didn't get it to the bookstore. That's my fault. Uh, but we're gonna need it because this is the meat and potatoes of the class. This is the crux of the learning. So this Erford text, 45 techniques every counselor should know, we are gonna lean heavily on that throughout the semester. We won't use it every week, but most weeks, by gosh, we will. So we won't use it this first week if you don't have it, so don't panic. Uh, it's, it's fairly affordable. It's something that you will use in this class on many occasions, throughout the class for many assignments each week, uh, for bigger assignments for the exams. You will also use this book uh, as you prepare for comps, as you so there's the you know comprehensive exam at the end. Many of you may be taking that in the spring, so uh, some of you may be, you know, taking it at a different time. But whatever the case may be, that that book will help you for comps, especially the written component. So you have to have individual psych, you have to have counseling strategies before you can get here. If for some reason you haven't had those two classes, we can't pass go, you need to contact me immediately. So we need to find something, a different route for you to go. You have to have those two to get into this class. And the reason why is because you are gonna synthesize the information that you had in strategies and techniques and combine that, add to it, with actually applying and integrating theories, different theories and different techniques. So yeah, you gotta have those two. You're welcome to read through these competence, competency standards and goals. Uh, I'm not gonna read them for you. Here's our, we've got a lot to do. You, you'll have, you'll, you'll be busy with this class. Very on, this is one of the, this is one of the bigger classes with a lot of, when I say bigger, I mean more comprehensive because we're asking you to do quite a bit. Uh, we're asking you to make some progress in integrating skill. Now, nobody's going to be an expert by the time they get done. Uh, hopefully, your feet will be wet and you'll be making tracks on the pavement because you're, you're wet feet from your theories that you just walked through. Uh, you'll have two case studies, case conceptualization uh, exams. So, I'll basically, I'll give you a vignette. You'll formulate uh, a plan of action based on the vignette on how you'll want to approach a session and design a session. You're going to design sessions intention. So this is intentionality coming with intention to uh, how I'm going to approach people. So you don't just go in and feel like you've got nothing. You know, you want to have a little bit of a roadmap when you start talking to people and start progressing in counseling. It's not just all laissez-faire, um, do what thou wilt. It, you, you'll want to you'll want to have some sort of plan and, and theoretical backing as you step into the sessions. That's that's the primary goal for learning in this case is for you to start integrating a theory into your practice. We'll have uh, live classes. You know the three uh, three classes will meet. Uh, class participation is necessary. Uh, where you know you just practice. You practice with each other. Uh, you'll do one. You'll do one session at least for, for practice, and one, at least one session for a grade. But hopefully, we'll get a, a chance to practice uh, amongst ourselves quite a bit. 
Um, so those of you that had me in group counseling for the summer, that will look pretty similar to what we did for group counseling. Only you'll be in dyads, and just be in, in groups of two, or maybe even three. I, I think I may, may switch you into triads. For, uh, you'll have, uh, this is wrong, eh, uh, dang it. You'll have three discussion board activities and three practice video sessions. I cut down on the discussion boards because nobody likes those. Just kidding. Uh, you, you need to reflect on three discussion boards. Uh, but a lot of your, a lot of your um, learning from this class will take place from your video practice sessions where you actually are praising yourself. So we'll talk more about that when we get closer to that date, and um, I'll release more information on that. But we got too much to cover to, right here for me to go into detail. I've uh, got the, the course objectives there. Please read those. Uh, the exams. My, my percentages are off. This is about 25% there, but yeah, I'll go back and fix that. Uh, you got a couple of exams. Again, those are vignettes. You'll apply a theory. You'll, you know, plan for a session or two. Um, you'll be asked to do the experiential counseling with each other, a lot like the group counseling we did this summer. Um, and you'll have to do the video. So uh, we'll talk more about those, the, the parameters of those as, as we go along. But I'm just trying to get into this and, and do this broad brush approach to the class. I don't want this video to go too long. The biggest thing for when we meet is again to be in a private setting. Uh, you, you, nobody else can be privy to the content of this class because you're going to be genuine. You're going to be genuine in your interaction, not just as a counselor, but when you are a client. So you're going to practice on each other um, counseling. And so uh, you have to have a confidential setting. You just have to. Um, and, and if you can't get one, you just contact me because uh, we, this is, we, we have to have one. Professional disposition, this kind of goes into, please be aware that when I'm giving you feedback, I'm not trying to run you down personally. I, it is my responsibility and my code of ethics as a counselor educator that I always keep your clients, your future clients in the forefront of my mind as you practice. By me giving you feedback, I am trying to help you be the best possible person, best possible counselor for your future clients. I am not trying to get into anything personally uh, troubling. Uh, basically, people do sometimes get offended, and uh, it, 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 it's, it, this is a hard thing. I mean, we're just kind of being a lot of times, and sometimes our ways are of being may be off-putting to others and we want to <laughs> and i'd have those i definitely have those uh, but we want to minimize those and get feedback from others that we can maximize our, our therapeutic presence in session and, and so when i give feedback please know i am abiding by what i'm supposed to do as a, as a counselor educator I have a very clear rubric for what's expected when you're in class demonstrating. When we're on Zoom, we're demonstrating. To, if you're on your phone, if you're looking away while well, your person is, uh, my phone actually buzzed a couple of times, but I didn't look at it uh, as I'm talking to you. If you're looking at your phone, no, that does not pass. Go. You need to have your attention. If you're counseling or if you're in a session as a client, you want to help that other person you want you want to be completely present and so this is a mutually beneficial thing if we're completely mentally present um, so uh, here's some of the things I'll, I'll also look for besides that I want to see that you're integrating your theory uh, I'm gonna look for those I'm, I'm gonna also lean back on strategies and techniques look for how, how well you're building rapport uh, I'll go into again go into this in more detail when we get there but please consult this rubric because it, it, it does go into some, some detail on what I'm expecting uh, for people. And here is, here, here's our point total. So this kind of tells you exactly what we're gonna do. When you make your video, you'll have to, uh, you don't have to go very long, you know, go 20 minutes to, to, as we start here. You know, if it goes longer, that's cool. 
but pick out 10 minutes and, and you'll transcribe it. And then you reflect on it. You'll reflect on your feelings. You reflect on, you give yourself critique, like what you want to improve on. I know that's very, very, um, gosh, you get very self-conscious. And, and sometimes that people get, you know, golly, I just look horrible. It is what it is. It, it's, it's, it's a growth opportunity. Don't look at it as, hey, I'm, <laughs> Dr. Taylor Randolph is going to put this up on YouTube and show every, no, that's not, I, I, that's not, it's, it's really between you and me and mainly for you to reflect on how you can grow. So, uh, so we'll talk more about that. I've got some things about written exams, some things about treating each other respectfully, how to, how to operate on the internet, uh, definitely respect diversity as we are counselors and work towards social justice and treating others with respect and lifting others up that do not have as much and have been oppressed. Here's our course schedule and tentative outline. Um, the big things, we'll have a discussion activity due this week. Uh, and then you get to, we get to jump right into that Erford text next week. So I will, if you don't get the text by next week, I'll just copy and paste it somehow. Uh, I get I get licensed to use a, a certain percentage of textbooks without, uh, you know, copyright infringement when I'm teaching. So uh, so please know I'll I'll try to get these chapters up there. And I will if you don't have the text. You'll see that your first video is due quickly. What? I've got a video due on 9-7. Well, it's, it's, you've got a little bit of time. You got what, two, three weeks? But you'll wanna, what you'll wanna do is, is contact somebody in this class, get a hold of a, of a student, uh, work with them, and, and practice. So remember, you practiced last semester for strategies and techniques. You should, whenever you took strategies and techniques, you should have practiced with a peer counseling. That is what I want you to do in your first video. I want you to practice with a peer from this class. In a, you know, you're gonna most likely you're gonna be on Zoom, although I guess, yeah, you'd have to you'd have to wear a mask. You get if if you get in 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 person. So, um, I'm gonna encourage you to to use Zoom and 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 I'll give you access to my account to make recordings. So uh, if if you can't record on your own on your own, so. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so you'll need to record yourself and then give yourself a critique and that's due on the seventh. And so, uh, we'll talk more about that, uh, coming up. Your second discussion is due on the 21st. You'll see the midterm is, ex is deployed on the fifth. We have no fall break. That's one thing that's different about this semester. Uh, there is no fall break. There's only a long Thanksgiving break. I assume that's to keep people from getting infected. Let's see here. Your third discussion, all of our discussions are over with by uh, late October. You'll see that your videos, your second video is due in the middle of October and your third video is due late November, or the yeah, first part of November, but later in the class. What I want to see is in, in these videos is just basically growth. Growth from feeling completely out of place and awkward to, okay, I at least can stammer through and, and, and kind of have an idea and intention. And I'm starting to integrate some ideas into what I want to do. Um, so, uh, so anyway, that's, that's that. Uh, just a quick introduction. I wanted to, let me go ahead and, and walk through our course outline here. I'm gonna add one more about rubrics. Uh, and I will add when we have these, you know, videos do, videos are actually gonna be uploaded and I'll, I'll make another, uh, another module over here, uh, another heading for you to submit your videos because we're gonna use OneDrive. All, all other assignments need to be uploaded here in Blackboard, but the videos sometimes get too big. And so you'll use your student OneDrive account and then share the link with me here in Blackboard, uh, where you upload your transcript and your self-reflection. So, uh, so anyway, um, course modules, 
this is where I'll have my course modules. You'll see here's module one. And it's just a quick introduction. Uh, I'll link the discussion to it. And you'll see the discussion board here. So for, for this week, here's what you here's what you do this week. Just say hi, say hey, my name is Taylor Randolph. I'm second year program. I'm excited, you know. So, you know, whatever you want to say about yourself. But I want you to reflect back on strategies and techniques. What did you learn from that class? What was the main thing you got out of strategies and techniques? Well, I learned that I, uh, I have a good presence with people, or I learned that I say um a lot, or I learned that I need to stop saving people. I need to be okay with, with negative emotions. I need to stop cheerleading, whatever it might be. What did you learn from that class? What is one of your primary learning goals for supervised experience? That's whatever you want. What are your feelings as you approach this class? And then think ahead, think ahead past this class to practicum. What would your ideal practicum placement look like? Where would you like to find placement during practicum? Who would you like to work with? What populations? So I hope this was helpful. I know it was quick. Um, there are other videos that will come out to help with the individual assignments because I don't want this to get too big, too long. So reach out to me if you have questions. Uh, otherwise, welcome to class. It's good to see you again. Uh, I look forward to our time together. See you.